I'm joined in studio by someone I consider a bit of a business guru. Welcome, Mr. Morris Muldoon. How are you? I'm well, Marianne. Great and yourself? to see you. Good to have you in here with me. Tell me, where does a man like you start and then suddenly take such an amazing journey and arrive at 13 stores? Is it now with Click? That's right, Marianne. Where do I start? Um, the youngest of nine. Uh, farmer's son from Roscommon, west of Ireland, and um, sort of always had an interest in IT, electronics, that's what my background, went to college in Dundalk. Uh, Good RTC. old Dundalk. Yeah, and uh, served me time there, did the old electronic engineering, and um, then moved to, the, uh, to London and worked with Canon for in total 10 years, but five years in London, three years in Belfast, and two in Dublin. So that's where I got that sort of an interest in that whole uh, IT computer. I mean, I was originally trained as an engineer, but I suppose the day I was qualified, I realized I didn't want to do engineering. I was more involved in sales, and that's where I sort of developed my career from there. But you're extremely good at promotion as well, Mr Muldoon, I notice. Now, we have a few pictures here. I think we're going to go and have a look at them and see. Do you want to tell me a little bit about this one here? Um, we we obviously were an agent for 3Mobile for, for years, especially to a broadband and that. so. We were uh, we qualified for an award in the northeast region, and uh, that was at the one of the ceremonies with old Hector. So Hector's a bit of a gas character, he is, a bit, is of a, he? bit of a character as well. And he's an album man as well. Oh so. yeah, absolutely. Well, we got great support that night. This particular picture was um, when we we qualified for uh, business of the year for uh, Carlo Chamber of Commerce, and um, uh, again we were we were we were there on that particular night to receive the award for it. Um, and You're liking your tuxedo there, Mr. Muldoon. I know. And then the, oh, uh, look at this. Well, the, the launch, see, the company was originally called Cantec, and uh, a Cantec was obviously a brand that wasn't going to fit with the retail space. So in 2008, we relaunched the whole brand after you know a, a previous number of years to click.ie. And okay. uh, this was the launch night of, of that particular, um, of that particular um, company. And you know something, click is a lot snappier, isn't it? Now you remember, I think, a little bit quicker. Well, click. people people say to me, you know, did you come up with click or whatever? It took uh, 18 months from the start of it to okay. the development of it, to the the whole copyright protection of it, etc. And uh, it's, it's, it's been a great success so far. Great stuff. So tell me, what does click do? We would be with 13 retail stores, as you, as you originally said, and we would supply uh, home office computer products to um, to people throughout of Ireland, um, like we're predominantly we started here in Cavan, uh, ironically where this show is coming from thirteen years ago, but I'd be originally from Navan, uh, and that's where we would have started the first company. Uh, my objective is to put thirty stores in Ireland because we believe there's a need for what we do. We're a we're a supplier of home media products, but we're also a support agent. There's a lot of people out there who will supply the product. And but when there's a problem, you put it in a box and send it back to the manufacturer. Yes, yes. Whereas in our environment, all our engineers are trained and in store, all our staff are trained. And what we would provide is the support and service to customers and users and training. Um, and that's, I think, what differentiates us from a lot of the large multinationals. Wow. So you're really giving back to the roots where you were an engineer by hiring new engineers. Yes. So you're continuing a little bit of a cycle, aren't you? Well, the company originally, the company would have been very much sales driven in the early days. But as we developed as a business, we realized that we required um, more technical skills. And if I look at the staff we would have hired 10 years ago compared to the staff now, I mean, we in interviewing staff now, we they go through a, a whole technical examination. If they don't get 80% in the first round of the interview, they don't get to the next level. So each in, each person in store must have the ability uh, uh, to strip a laptop nearly blindfolded and put it back together again, nice. or an, I, an iPod or an iPhone or whatever. I mean, So my cracked screen, if I arrived in she was, even though it's was sitting there for about two years cracked, you could sort that out. Absolutely. We, re we replace screens and iPads, iPhones, laptops. Right. But the biggest area people have is that backing up their data, for example, they forget about it and they maybe break their phone, lose their phone uh -huh. and their numbers aren't backed up or their emails aren't backed up. So that's something we do for them as well, storage and backup and the whole area of cloud technology now where everything is stored remotely off-site. Brilliant. That's a great idea. So listen, if you had advice for somebody who is starting, regardless of what kind of business it is in Ireland, what would be your top three 
to keep it going, to keep the momentum going, just to encourage them to keep you know, plodding away. Well, I do a lot of work at the moment with transitional year students where I advise them. I do a lot of work with college students and I do a lot of work with, with young businesses because we have a franchise model which actually people come to us looking to open their own click store. And it, I remember the, the first time I started out, the first area is getting the premises, dealing with landlords, very frightening, dealing with rent, understanding the whole area of how a business starts and runs. I do that now sort of on, right. the, on, the, on the back of a matchbox because that's something that you learned after years. What advice would I give them um, to make sure that they, that they don't expand too quick, that okay. they have the right cost uh, mix? So in other words, whatever is coming in is enough to keep the wages and rent paid. I think a lot of people don't realise when they start out, they say, oh, look at that lovely premises and they, they sort of get this lovely unit and the landlord says it's five grand a month or three grand a month and then they don't realise how much it's going to cost to repay it. They don't realise there's rates involved, that there's taxes involved, there's wages involved, there's taxes involved in wages and then all of a sudden, six months down to it, they find themselves 20, 30,000 euros in debt and they're going, where did this all come from? So what we probably try and do is get people to start small, uh, run their business predominantly themselves, develop their actual cash flow and making sure that they're at least at a break even point within six months so that they're actually trying to get as much business in as the cost actually requires. And that's one area that I find that when a lot of people come to me for advice and they say, listen, you've 13 stores, you have over 60 staff working for you. You know, how do you manage the whole lot? Yeah. You can't manage it unless you have a team built and you have to build the team first of all um, before you can actually get there. So can people contact you directly? Is oh, there a link to you? Absolutely. Well, I mean, you I, tell them just into camera now. Okay. Well, I mean, our, our website is www.click.ie. Um, my email address is Morris, M-A-U-R-I-C-E, at click.ie. And I'd be only too delighted um, to for anybody to contact me for advice or even if somebody's looking for work or they're looking to establish their own business, maybe they've got redundancy out of somewhere and they're looking to start their own business. I can't develop 30 stores on my own, but with, with 30 individuals willing to work for themselves, I can give them the tools that they require to develop their own business. Great stuff. Well, you're the man to talk to then, isn't that Absolutely. It? Yeah. Morris, you're brilliant. Listen, we'll get you in again and we'll have a proper talk. Um, Click.ie, guys, that's the one to contact if you want to find out anything more about Morris Muldoon and how he successfully achieved something that a lot of businesses, unfortunately, didn't do in the past decade. In fact, it's a great accreditation to what he's achieved himself, coming from an engineer and now hiring engineers to work in his business as well. So um, if people want to get to know you, again, it's Click. Yeah, very straightforward and it's great to have you in the studio Thanks, Mary. Stay. thank you Maris for coming in lovely thank great you very much you. cheers now I think we're actually going to go 